This is ANN News Brief. Good morning, I am Ola Jumoke Ola Tunji. Ivory Coast Health Ministry says on Tuesday, almost 400 tons of fake medicines have been seized over two years in the main city Abidjan, known for counterfeit drug. Roadside medicines are reputed to be cheaper. World Health Organization reports counterfeit medicine is the scourge of Africa and the cause of around 100 deaths annually in the continent. The Switzerland-based World Economic Forum estimates the leasing sector has a turnover of at least 10% of the world pharmaceutical business, meaning that it earns tens of billions of dollars a year. It's hard to add that the figure has nearly tripled in five years. The WHO estimates that one out of ten medicines in the world is fake, but the figure can be as high as seven out of ten in certain countries, especially in Africa. Specialists in South Africa have established a database that can help identify blood diamonds, leaving illegal diamond traders nowhere to hide. The Kimberley process was set up in 2000 to prevent so-called conflict diamonds from entering the market. A group of industry specialists have met in Johannesburg to look at the gains made in preventing the use of pressure stones to fund conflicts. There are still parts of Africa that are mining conflict diamonds and attempting to integrate them into legitimate diamond streams. Speaking of their efforts to identify these conflict diamonds, Mark Van Block, still chairman of Kimberley Process Diamond Experts Working Group, said that technological tools are needed. What we are now especially working on, can we identify diamonds that are coming from the Central African Republic? And uh, can we do that when they are basically sitting inside shipments from other participants? So we are trying actually to get all of the technological tools in line uh, to actually do that. We'll be back after the short break. Stay with us. Are you sure you want to do this? Adam, go and bring us your husband. Okay. Hello, baby. We're in this together, okay? Can you hear me? Keep coming forward. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop. <laughs> you okay, Lindsay? You alright? <laughs> Keep walking down. Keep walking to the left. Yes. You're almost here. Keep going. You are here. <laughs> wow, you did it. I'm just so glad I didn't have to use my cane to do this. And I am so glad no other man got you before me. Let me be your eyes. We will never stop working to give you a network you can rely on so you can enjoy life's special moments. MTN, everywhere you go. Angolan authorities said on Tuesday it has returned over 180,000 legal migrants from the Democratic Republic of Congo back across the border since the start of the security crackdown last week. More than 10 persons have been reported killed. Angola's operations against the migrants triggered clashes between Congolese security forces and local Angolans largely in the northern province of Lundo North, which borders on DRC. Authorities added that 800 foreigners from DRC, Lebanon, Mali, and Nigeria had been arrested over involvement in the legal diamond trade in the area. He said 120 trading premises had been closed and 30,000 diamonds seized. That's in a news brief. Thanks for watching. For details on this and other stories, visit our website, inanafrica.net. Also join the conversation on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash TV. Instagram and Twitter, TV. I am Olajumoke Olatunji.